Watch closely, Jill. You're about to see what true mastery of the water element looks like. I've heard rumors, Poseidon, but seeing is believing. Show me what you've got. That's just the beginning. Check this out. Incredible, Poseidon. I knew you were powerful, but this, this is on another level. Thanks, Jill. It took some practice, but I've finally tapped into my true potential. And you know what they say. Practice makes perfect. Or, in my case, nearly divine. Well, if you're taking applications for apprentices, sign me up. I could use a few of those moves in my next fight against the tomato head in candy versus fruit code on screen now. We'll continue your training tomorrow. But be warned, it's going to be a deep dive. Just promise me one thing, Poseidon. When I master those moves, let's not tell Zeus. I don't want to end up as his new sparring partner. No promises, Jill, but I'll consider it. Well, if it isn't the great Poseidon, nice tricks back there, but really, Shouldn't you be back in the sea with the rest of the whales? Hey now, we're all about positive vibes here. Poseidon's just showcasing his talents, just like anyone else would. No need for the saltiness, right? Thanks, Gil. I guess not everyone appreciates a good water show, huh? Don't sweat it, man. You're a literal god. You've got bigger fish to fry than some landlubber's opinion. You're right, Gil. Let's focus on the positives, like how you're going to master Punched Up tomorrow. Oh boy, as long as it doesn't involve getting punched. I mean... slurp juice a bit hard lately? You're looking a bit jiggly in the middle. Yeah, man. Maybe lay off the ocean's buffet. We wouldn't want you to sink next time you hit the water with that jelly belly. Ah, huh. very funny, guys. You know, as a god, I can change my form at will. This is just, you know, how I like it right now. Maybe I should check my reflection in the water. Excuse me. Think we overdid it with the jokes? Maybe. He's usually all about the waves and the tides, not so much about the laughs. Poseidon, what storm brings you here with such anger? It's about us, Zeus. About how we're seen and perceived by others. You're revered, feared. I'm just a subject of jokes and teasing. This is about your appearance, brother. You know as well as I that our forms are but a reflection of our essence. Why does this trouble you so? Because Zeus, while you sit here with your rock-hard abs, I'm out there being mocked for my jelly belly or my liquid form. Where's the respect, the awe that should accompany a god of the seas? Poseidon, our roles are different, as are our realms. I've never doubted your power or your command of the oceans. Why should the idle chatter of mortals or others shake your confidence? It's not just idle chatter, Zeus. It's about wanting to be valued, not just tolerated or laughed at. I want to be seen as more than just Poseidon, the fun god. I see your point, brother. But know this. You are valued, respected, and admired, far beyond what you might perceive. Your domain is vast, your power immense. Do not let the whispers of the few cloud the reverence of the many. Perhaps you're right. But it's hard, Zeus, when every glance seems to carry a snicker, every compliment a hidden gag. Then let us show them together the true might of Poseidon. 
Let them know that the god of the seas is no less formidable than the ruler of Olympus is. Hades, brother, I seek a chat with you. To what do I owe this rare honor? Have the tides carried you to my domain for counsel or for conflict? Neither. I come seeking understanding. You, cloaked in darkness and power, command respect and fear. I, despite my own domain's vastness, am met with teasing and ridicule. How do you do it, Hades? How do you ensure you're taken seriously? Seriousness, Poseidon, comes not from form, but from essence. My realm, my rules, and my really cool mask. They all align to project the power I embody. Perhaps I've been too concerned with the surface, neglecting the depths of my own power. Indeed. The seas are both beautiful and terrifying, Poseidon. Be the storm, not just the calm waters. Let them see the depth of your dominion. Thank you, Hades. Your words have given me much to ponder. I shall seek to embody the Tempest as much as the Tranquil Sea. Oh, and next time you call, let me know. I'll be sure to get some donuts for you. Here. Where the sea meets the land, I find myself at a crossroads. Do I continue to endure the jests and doubts, or do I embrace the solitude of the deep, away from the eyes and expectations of others? I am Poseidon, god of the seas, yet I feel adrift, caught in a current of uncertainty. Perhaps it is time to retreat to vanish beneath the waves where my true power lies. No, I will not be defined by the fleeting opinions of mortals or immortals alike. I am the storm and the calm, the depth and the surface. My journey is mine to shape like the waves that shape the shore. Poseidon, may I join you in this beautiful sanctuary? Of course, Aphrodite. Your company is always a balm to the soul. You've been on quite the journey, haven't you? The waves of self-doubt can be more challenging than the stormiest seas. Indeed. I've been contemplating my place in this world, my role as a deity. It's not easy when you feel misunderstood or reduced to mere caricature. Poseidon. Remember that your power and worth extend far beyond the perceptions of others. I've been so concerned with how I'm perceived that I've neglected to truly value what I am, to love myself as I am. Thank you, Aphrodite. So, what's the plan, Poseidon? More water vortex training today? Actually, Gil, I have a different kind of training in mind today. One that's about inner strength and self-acceptance. I am Poseidon, god of the seas. My power is vast, my domain deep and mysterious. I am not defined by others' perceptions, but by my own essence. That's right. You're the master of the oceans, not just some caricature. Show them who you really are, Poseidon. I command the tides, the storms, and the calm. I am both the tranquil sea and the raging wave. I embrace all that I am. Now that's the Poseidon I know. The whole island should see this side of you. Powerful, assured, and unapologetically you. Your friendship and support mean more to me than you know. Together, we'll face whatever comes our way with heads held high. And hey, if anyone gives you trouble, just remind them who controls the seas. Hello, I'm Poseidon. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm April. The pleasure is all mine. Aphrodite has told me so much about you. 
So, April, do you frequent this cafe often? I must admit, the ambiance is quite enchanting. I do. It's a little haven in the midst of chaos. But enough about me, I'm curious about you. Aphrodite mentioned you're quite the force of nature. Well, let's just say I have my moments. But tonight, I'm just Poseidon, here to enjoy your company and this delightful setting. It's refreshing to meet someone who's not just about surface appearances. You have a depth to you, Poseidon. That's quite captivating. That means a great deal to me. I've been learning to embrace my depths, and it's wonderful to share that with someone who appreciates it. You know, April, there's something about the sea at night. It's both calming and invigorating. I couldn't agree more. It's like the universe's way of showing us there's beauty in complexity. Your company this evening has been a true gift. I've been on a journey of self-discovery, and tonight feels like a significant step on that path. Everyone deserves to be seen for who they truly are, Poseidon, and you're no exception. For tonight, for the conversation, for the connection, no matter where my journey takes me, I'll cherish this moment. And I'll cherish it too. Aphrodite, look! There's Drift! You should totally ask him to dance with you. I don't know, Hope. Do you think he'd want to dance with me? Of course! Who could resist a dance with you? Okay, wish me luck. Hi, Drift. I'm Aphrodite. Would you like to dance? Dance with you? Uh, no thanks. I prefer someone a little less flashy and pink. Yeah, Drift's got a point. You're kind of, um, all over the place. Not really our style. Ignore them, Aphrodite. They don't know what they're missing. You're amazing, and anyone would be lucky to dance with you. Thanks, Hope. I just, I thought it would be fun, you know? I didn't expect to be laughed at. Their loss, truly. Let's show them what they're missing. Hope, do you ever wish you could just be ordinary? No expectations, no divine duties, just simple and normal. I might not be a goddess, Aphrodite, but I get it. You want to be seen for who you are, not what you are, right? Exactly. Tonight was supposed to be fun, just dancing, laughing, being me. But instead, it turned into a reminder that I'm different. You're incredible, Aphrodite. Divine or not, you're my friend. And those guys? They missed out on knowing a truly amazing person. Thank you, Hope. I'm lucky to have you. It's just hard sometimes feeling like I'm on display, unable to just blend in and enjoy the moment. Hades, I warned you about creating your own Fortnite deathmatch game. I'm here to stop you and end this silly quest. You fool, Zeus. Everyone loves my game, and they will watch you die as they play. <laughs> now, Zeus, have you any last word before you vanish into the dust beneath my feet? Please save me, save my life and my kingdom. Go play Hades' new game, quick hurry. The code is on the screen now, and in the description. Oh, and don't forget to like and favorite the game, or this Greek god will be no more. Aphrodite, my dear, I sense a heaviness in your heart. The stars themselves seem dimmer with your sorrow. What troubles you? Father, it's just... Sometimes I wish I could be someone else, someone normal. Tonight made me feel so out of place. 
Being who we are comes with its challenges, especially for those of us in the Pantheon. But my child, you have gifts yet to be fully realized. Gifts? What do you mean, Father? You possess the power of transformation and enchantment, abilities that extend beyond your well-known realms of love and beauty. Transformation? Enchantment? I... I didn't know. How do I... These powers are profound, Aphrodite, and they come with great responsibility. They must be wielded wisely, for they can alter the very essence of things and beings around you. I understand, Father. I'll be careful. But maybe... Maybe I can use them to fit in, just for a little while. Perhaps, but remember, true acceptance comes from being cherished for who you are, not who you appear to be. Use your powers to explore, to learn, but not to conceal your true nature. I'll remember that. Thank you, Father. I feel a little less lost now, knowing there's so much more I can discover about myself. Explore your abilities, my dear, but never lose sight of who you are at heart. Need guidance, I'm here. Let's see what these new powers can do. I want to walk among them, not as a goddess, but as a human, just for a little while. Is this really me? I, I'm human. I look amazing. Yes, this is your inner beauty, but I must warn you to never use your powers on the innocent. I can't wait to explore, to see the world through these eyes, to experience life as they do, even if it's just for a little while. This is my chance to learn, to grow, and maybe to understand what it truly means to love and be loved, not as a goddess, but as a person. Wow, Aphrodite, you're definitely turning heads. How does it feel to be admired without all the divine glow? It's different, but exciting. I feel like I'm part of the world, not just observing it. That didn't go as planned. He just smiled and walked away. Maybe he's just shy, or maybe your powers work differently in this form. Either way, you're still amazing, magic or no magic. Maybe this is what Father meant. I need to learn about these powers and about myself. Not just how to charm, but how to truly connect. Hey, I'm Aphrodite. I would really like to take you out on a date. Nice to meet you, but I'm taken. I have an amazing girlfriend already. You will fall deeply in love with me. Break up with your girlfriend and kiss me right now. I. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I was meant to talk to you. You're incredible. Aphrodite, what did you do? He said he has a girlfriend. I... I just wanted to see if I could. I didn't think it would actually work like this. Zeus. She is so amazing. I really need to hurry up and break up with my girlfriend. Maybe using those powers isn't as straightforward as it seems. There's a lot to consider, Aphrodite. And then, just like that, he was under her spell. It was like he forgot his girlfriend existed, just because Aphrodite decided to test her powers on him. That's so unlike Aphrodite. She's always been about genuine love, not forced affection. Oh, you two are taking this far too seriously. Aphrodite is the goddess of love. Playing with hearts is in her nature, whether she's in her divine form or not. But she felt terrible about it, Artemis. It's not like she enjoys messing with people's feelings. Maybe, but it's a reminder to all of us. Aphrodite, even in her quest to be normal, can't escape who she truly is. And maybe she shouldn't have to. So, you're saying we should just accept that she'll occasionally enchant someone into loving her? Not exactly. 
but understanding her nature might help us guide her, teach her how to use her powers responsibly. She's learning, just like we all are. Then let's help her. If Aphrodite's going to explore her powers, she should know she's not alone. Finding anything interesting? Oh, hi. Yeah, just looking for a good read. Any recommendations? How about something on Greek mythology? It's full of fascinating tales. I'd love to, but I'd much rather hear about it from you. Maybe a kiss? First, you have to find Gwen, your girlfriend, and break up with her? Anything for you, my love. <laughs> Mind if I join in? Looks like fun. Forget the donuts. Let's do something you enjoy. What do you like? I want you to kiss me right now and tell me you love me. I love you, Aphrodite, with all my heart. so distant lately. Is everything okay? Gwen, I... I've been doing a lot of thinking. And, well, I feel like we're heading in different directions. Different directions? But everything was fine just a few days ago. What changed? I don't know how to explain it. I just feel differently now. It's like there's this new... pull. Somewhere else. Is there someone else, Miles? Is it... Aphrodite? Aphrodite? I mean, she's incredible, but no, this is about me, not her. I just need space to figure things out. If you need space, I'll give it to you. But I can't help feeling this isn't just about you needing space. There's more to it. I'm sorry, Gwen. I wish I could make you understand. There's something not right here, and I'm going to find out what it is. Gwen, what a surprise. Is everything okay? I think you know why I'm here, Aphrodite. It's about Miles. What did you do to him? Gwen, I assure you I don't control people's emotions. They make their own choices. Don't play innocent with me. I know about your powers and I saw how Miles changed after he met you. He broke up with me. I did enchant him, Gwen, but it wasn't to hurt you or steal him away. I was just experimenting with my powers, trying to understand them. I never meant for anyone to get hurt. Experimenting? We're talking about people's lives. Aphrodite, you can't just play with someone's feelings to see what happens. You're right. I was thoughtless, and I'm so sorry. Is there anything I can do to make this right? I don't know if you can make this right, but you can start by lifting whatever spell you put on Miles. He deserves to make his own choices, free from divine interference. I'll do it, Gwen. I'll remove the enchantment, and I'll take a hard look at how I use my powers from now on. I never want to cause this kind of pain again. Hades, I warned you about creating your own Fortnite deathmatch game. I'm here to stop you and end this silly quest. You fool, Zeus. Everyone loves my game and they will watch you die as they play. <laughs> now, Zeus, have you any last word before you vanish into the dust beneath my feet? Please save me, save my life and my kingdom. Go play Hades' new game, quick hurry. The code is on the screen now, and in the description. Oh, 
And don't forget to like and favorite the game, or this Greek god will be no more. Come on, Jill. You call that a defensive stance? My grandmother's sea urchins can do better. Doing my best, Lord Poseidon. I'll master the Daywalker's move if it's the last thing I do. What are you doing here? This is no place for idle spectators. Off with you now. But I was just admiring your training methods, Lord Poseidon. I thought I might learn something from watching the Master at work. The only thing you'll learn here is how to be a distraction. I have no time for admirers. Focus on your own path, Lyra. And let me focus on mine. Tough love, huh? Should I try that with the coral buddies next? Just focus on not tripping over your own fins, Gil. We have got a long day ahead. This is it, Lyra. Just be sincere. Show him your heart. How could he not see how much I care? Lord Poseidon, I've been meaning to talk to you. I've admired your strength and wisdom from afar, and I... What are you doing here? Can't you see I'm in the middle of something important? I just wanted a moment of your time. I have these feelings, and I thought... Feelings? Now is not the time nor the place. Restored Reels is no playground for infatuations, Lyra. You should know better. I understand. My apologies, Lord Poseidon. I didn't mean to offend. Focus on your duties, Lyra. Don't let these silly feelings cloud your judgment. Orochimaru, your skills are required for a task of delicate nature. It's a matter that must be resolved quietly, away from Olympus's prying eyes. Lord Poseidon, I am at your service. What troubles the god of the seas so deeply that he seeks my particular talents? There's a mortal, Lyra, who has become entangled in my affairs. Her presence, her admiration, it's become a distraction, a nuisance that I can no longer tolerate. And you wish for this distraction to be eliminated? Yes, but it must be done discreetly. No one must suspect my involvement or that of any deity. It's a matter that must be resolved in the shadows. Discretion is my specialty, Lord Poseidon. Consider your problem as good as resolved. However, every service comes with a price. Name it. Olympus is rich in treasures and secrets. What is it that you desire? Eh, uh, V-Bucks, obviously. For now, rest assured that your distraction will be taken care of. Then we have an agreement. Proceed with caution, Orochimaru. The eyes of Olympus see much, but I trust you'll ensure they see nothing of this. Who are you? What do you want from me? Ah, uh, Lyra, right? Your infatuation with Poseidon has been troublesome. I'm here to rectify that situation. I don't understand. I've caused no harm. Please, you don't have to do this. It's not about what you've done. It's about what you could disrupt. Now hold still. This will be transformative. What's happening to me? What have I become? You've become a solution, Medusa. A force to be reckoned with. Is this my fate? To be feared, isolated, powerful? If the world will only see me as a monster, then a monster they shall see. I will carve my own path with or without Poseidon's gaze upon me. So this is your power. Fascinating. Well, well, if it isn't the talk of Olympus. Medusa, you've certainly evolved. Evolution born of betrayal, Hades. I've come to realize my place is not among those who scorn me, but with those who respect my power. 
And what brings you to our doorstep, Medusa? What do you seek in the company of the Underworld's finest? An alliance. Poseidon thinks he can discard me like a mere pebble in his vast ocean. I intend to show him just how formidable a pebble can be. I admire your spirit, Medusa. Poseidon has indeed grown too complacent in his watery throne. Together, we can shake the very foundations of his kingdom. I want him to regret the day he turned his back on me. With your forces, Hades and Cerberus's might, we can dethrone the so-called god of the seas. Our fangs and claws are at your disposal, Medusa. Poseidon will learn to fear the bite of the underworld. Then let us bind this pact with the darkness that unites us. We will bring Poseidon to his knees and show Olympus that our wrath is not to be taken lightly. To our future victories and the downfall of our enemies, may they tremble at the mention of our names. Just one shot. That's all it takes to end this charade and make him pay for everything. No, stay focused. Remember your purpose, Medusa. This is for your dignity, for your revenge. Silence! Everyone, calm down! Gods, secure the perimeter! Whoever you are, this cowardly act won't go unpunished. Show yourself! This time, there will be no mistakes. Poseidon will pay for his disregard, for his arrogance. Time for a car bomb. Always oh, sending me on these errands. What did he forget this time? His trident shaped keychain, his coral encrusted sunglasses. No, this isn't right. He's not the target. What in Poseidon's realm was that? Poseidon, you may have escaped this time, but I'm not done. Your downfall is coming. Look at what I've become, a creature of legend yet alone in the dark. I once longed for his gaze, for his affection. Now, all who look upon me will know only fear and stone. Is this not power, though? Is there not strength in being feared in commanding such a formidable presence? Hear me, Poseidon, and all of Olympus. The woman you spurned is no more. In her place stands a Medusa, a force of nature, unforgiving and unyielding. Is that Medusa? Here in the cafe? Don't look at her eyes, remember what they say about her gaze. Medusa, please, I don't want any trouble. Just let us. Enough, Medusa. Your quarrel isn't with these mortals. Leave now, or face the consequences. I have no fight with you, Aphrodite, but mark my words. This is far from over. Don't worry, Gwen. We'll find a way to reverse this. Medusa may have embraced her darkness, but we will not abandon our light. Right this way, Mr. Zeus. We've got a lightning view suite just for you. Top floor with all the divine amenities. Lightning view, you say? Now that's what I call a room with a spark. Today, Zeus will become a permanent part of Mount Olympus's decor. Just need the perfect moment. Whoa, lady! 
Ever heard a knocking? No, not him. Where's Zeus? 